Hey, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about updating your WordPress website and all about security issues. So recently we've run into a lot of concerns from our clients and from y'all even writing in saying, what's going on? I did the update and now my website's broken. Or you have the total random, I didn't do anything and all of a sudden my website went down um, because maybe it's been hacked or one of the compromised plugins um, that were just listed by WordPress you already had installed in your website. So today I want to walk you through what it looks like to go through your website step by step create that security that needs to be there and how to troubleshoot in case you have these crashes happen. All right, this is a little bit more medium to advanced, but I'm gonna try to put it as basic as, as possible and walk you through it step by step. So here we go. Okay, so updating your WordPress website. I just had a client call us up and say my entire website just went down because I clicked update on three plugins and I tried to update my WordPress version. So it is a little scary every single time you, you do this. You kind of click the button and like look with one eye and, and go quickly check across browsers to see if your website is still uh, working properly. But what I want to walk you through is a couple of quick things that you need to do as a checklist, not only a mental checklist, but an actual step-by-step -step checklist of what you need to be doing in order to have your WordPress website still function properly once you do an update. And that very, very first thing that I want you to do is please today, right now, even pause this video if you want to, and go contact your hosting company and ask if there's some sort of a backup system happening right now inside your uh, WordPress website. You need to ask them, is there some way to back up not only my files, but also the database itself? So be sure you ask both, the, both of those questions because your files actually sit you know, inside of your FTP account, all those sit right there inside of different folders, and then your database kind of sits over here, and that houses your WordPress, uh, the, the core content. So super important to have both of those backed up consistently. And if they ask, well, how often do you want to back it up? Every 24 hours? Every month? How often do you want to do that? I would suggest doing that depending upon how often you're actually putting fresh content on your website. So if you're blogging every single day, more than likely you need to be asking them, be sure that there's a 24 hour backup system or maybe even more frequently than that uh, inside of your uh, uh, hosting account. Or if you're probably saying, no, I really don't even update anything um, you know, once every couple of months, well then be sure that they back it up at least every 30 days. The reason being is if you ever do have to call them and say, hey you guys, I really need your help, need you to back up the website, roll it back to yesterday, hopefully what we're gonna do then is not lose any other fresh content that you may have put in along the way and they can literally just set, set it back to one day. If you're asking them to only roll it back every 30 days or, or to save it rather every 30 days, you might end up having to say, hey, you know, last week I did like 10 blogs but I know your probably most recent backup of my website isn't, you know, for 30 days back, go ahead and roll it back and you literally will lose all of that content. So it's very important if you're consistently blogging or adding fresh pictures or content to your website to be sure that there's some sort of a system set in place to, to uh, cover your tush, if you will, on that. Okay, so every once in a while you're going to have a little number pop up on your dashboard. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, if you've got something that looks up here at the top, see up here how this has a number one and if I'm sitting here on the dashboard, you're going to see that it says updates here and it's going to say, you know, updates one. What that means is it's trying to alert me that something needs tending to. So I'm going to click on plugins and go over here and see what it's telling me. Right now it's telling me that WordPress SEO, which is Yoast, hopefully you guys, that there's a little plug for them. Hopefully y'all are using this plugin for SEO purposes. It's telling me that that needs to be updated. Well, before I click this little button right here, I could go over and see what the details are. And if they say something like a security uh, update, I would absolutely click update and be sure that you've got the most recent version of this uh, plugin uh, rolling on your website right now. Uh, but you know, if you if you think, well, I've actually done quite a bit of customization. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a a gallery plugin, and you knew how to do some little custom coding in there, and you did some customization in it. You don't want to lose all of that customization. Well, clicking update will lose all that. So you might want to go ahead and say, ah, oh, right now I'm not going to do the update. 
But I will tell you this, little side note, security purposes, it's always best practice to have the most recent version of themes, plugins, and WordPress running on your site, okay? I have already done a backup. I practice what I preach. I did a backup of this website. I'm gonna go ahead and click update now. The website's gonna go and process that for me, and it's gonna say, plugin reactivated successfully. I can return to my plugins page, and uh, everything's up to date perfectly. I'm gonna come up to the front side of my website. I'm gonna click refresh and be sure that nothing has broken, that the website's actually still working perfectly. Uh, you always wanna do that and you wanna be sure to do a hard refresh, dumping all your cash so that you know for a fact, yes, this is the most recent version of my website I'm looking at and nothing is broken. Updating a plugin can kill your whole website. Like I shared in the very beginning of this video, I had a client call up and say, hey, you know what? I clicked update on um, a Constant Contacts plugin. Just so happens, that's one of the most recent plugins that had a hack happen to it. So uh, he was not aware of that. He clicked update and it killed his whole website. There was a virus inside of that. So uh, highly, highly important that you have a backup of your system. Uh, our fix for him though was going into his FTP account and I'm gonna walk you through that a little bit later on here when we start talking about updating themes. So let's get into that. Updating your theme is another really huge scary moment of, all right, I know for a fact that I've done a lot of customization. I've gone into the style sheet and made some tweaks and changes. I've maybe put something really cool up in my header file, my PHP file, and I did not use a child theme. Well, first of all, Shame on you because if you're manipulating anything inside of any PHP files, you have to, have to, have to be using a child theme. And I'm thinking we're probably going to be touching on child themes coming up here really soon because a lot of you have had questions about those. Uh, but the other, another area that you manipulate pretty frequently inside of customizing a WordPress theme is the CSS area, so that style sheet. And if you've gone in there and done anything inside of the actual style sheet that the author has coded and typically has put at the top, do not code inside of here, <laughs> if you've done anything inside there, you will lose it if you click update. Um, their files will come and override and set it back to the default mode. So what you need to be looking at, I mention it here, what you need to be using is some sort of a custom CSS box that a lot of authors nowadays will allow for you to have or absolutely be using a child theme. Uh, I mentioned that here as well, to be using a child theme. So read through this blog article because I might uh, give you a little bit more detailed step-by-step -step on how to do this kind of stuff. You can find that link below in the description area, how to get over here to this blog article and find out what I'm talking about for best practices. Um, Something that happens though, this particular client that called us up and said, hey, my whole website broke, uh, there, there needs to be two things happening for you to go fix this, okay? If you get the white screen of death or you get a big error across your website that says, I can't access the database, uh, something's happened in your process of updating. You can do a couple of different troubleshooting things here if you're not too afraid to access FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol. You can do that typically inside of your cPanel for your hosting account. And if it sounds like all of a sudden I'm speaking Greek to you, don't panic. There are uh, people out there to help you. Of course, you've got your WordPress Wednesday group here. You can email us, you can uh, tweet us, ask us questions. Don't panic, there are people around you that can help. But if you say, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling brave, I think I'm gonna go jump into my FTP panel or I'm gonna go call up my hosting company and they can walk me through it, here's a couple of things you can do. You can go into, you can drill down, I put it right here, you can drill down uh, WP content and go into your themes folder, okay? If it's your theme that you just updated and everything broke, that means there's something wrong with that theme. There's a conflict between either that theme and an older version of a plugin, or possibly that theme and your version of your WordPress uh, website right now, okay? The, the version you're using of WordPress. So what happens is you've got to be able to access your dashboard to put up some sort of a oops, my whole website broke moment, right? You've got to put up some sort of a uh, down for repairs or coming soon or please check back and give them some sort of a link so that they're not seeing nothing but broken chaos, right? What you want to do is drill down into that folder, that themes folder. Hopefully, you have a few other themes sitting there. And I've told you in the past, don't have 12 themes sitting there. You don't want all that weight sitting on your server, but always have at least two sitting there as, as possible backups. And I'm gonna show you that whenever I'm here inside of my themes, I'm gonna move myself, there you go. I have, and my active theme here is sparkling. And then these other two themes, I just have sitting here on my server in case of moments like this, where something's gone wrong and I've gotta go over and get into one, I've gotta get into my dashboard 
dashboard. How do I do that? My, my WP login page is not even coming up. I can't even put in my username and password. Nothing's working. This is how you fix it. You access your FTP panel. Again, inside the blog article, I've got it listed here. You're going to actually rename the folder of the current theme that just broke, okay? You don't want to rename it something crazy, you just maybe want to put a number in front of it. So you're typically going to right mouse click on the theme folder itself and an option should pop up to rename that folder. You want to maybe put a number 5 or something in front of that name, okay? What that should do is it should cause your entire WordPress website to um, kind of skip that theme and skip down to the next one. It'll, it knows it's supposed to be calling for that because, but because now you've changed the name of it, it will revert down and go try to find a different theme. Hopefully it's just going to grab one of these other themes that you've got sitting there on your server and you'll be able to go click refresh. Of course your website's going to look weird because it's got a different theme on it. Doesn't matter. That's not the point. This isn't a fix to fix that broken theme. This is just to get you uh, a new access point to get back in your website and to put up some sort of a coming soon page, okay? I walk you through that. As long as you can gain access back in your website, that's half the battle. Then you may have to, again, call your hosting company and tell them, hey, you guys, I really need your help. I need you to roll back my website and help me fix this thing. And the biggest one that is the scariest, I think, is clicking update on your WordPress version. Uh, the reason why is because if your theme that you're currently using has not been updated or some of the plugins, the authors have, have not uh, been consistently keeping up with the updates, you very easily could experience some breaks on your website. So please, please, please heed my warning when I say have some sort of a backup system now, today, in place for your website for not only your files but also your database so that you can easily and quickly roll it back. Ask your hosting company, if I have to roll it back, how much are you going to charge me? Because they shouldn't be charging you anything. Um, if not, look for other uh, possibilities for backup systems. There are certain plugins. Backup Buddy will help you do that. I also want to touch very briefly on security for your website because it's really, really important, especially as we've been seeing these certain plugins that are coming in with these hack attacks. Um, I mentioned here inside the blog article that a couple of things can affect your security of your website, what company you use to host your website. Uh, what plugins you use. You definitely need to be watching for reviews and, and how up to date those plugins are uh, and how many you use. Be careful. And what theme you use. Obviously, that could cause issues if it's some sort of random theme. The author could have maliciously put some sort of content in there that could, um, that could hack your uh, whole database or hack your information or hack your customer's information. So be sure whenever you're purchasing a theme or using a free theme that it's from WordPress or that it's from a reliable company. Do not go out there and just try to download some random free one off of somebody else's website. I also mentioned here uh, who you give access to your dashboard. Be careful. You, you need to have uh, limited cooks in the kitchen there. And if you allow comments and do not moderate them, that's super important. I list a, a plugin here for you to delete all of those pending comments. You cannot have those sitting uh, in your website. I've logged in before to clients and had you know 3,000 pending comments, and they didn't care because they said, oh, they're all spam. You need to get them off of your website, okay? And if you have any other APIs, um, things that access uh, Constant Contacts or MailChimp or Twitter, different things like that that might con um, third-party contract out your content allowing an open door to your website you have to be very careful so we highly recommend WP Engine I'll give them a plug not only are they a sponsor of uh, WordPress Wednesdays and our WordPress San Antonio meetup group but they're here listed on our website as well uh, we love them that's who we host with and we highly suggest them for you guys okay I know that was probably a brain cramp that's a lot of information to take in but we're here to help you. Not only do you have resources like WordPress Wednesday, our, all of our different videos, you also have the ability to write into us and ask us questions. You have the ability to come to a class even. We have meetup groups here in San Antonio. And if you're not in this area, be sure to check out meetup in your local area. I'm sure you'll find a WordPress class where you can go in person and ask a question having to do with security issues. I also have one more resource for you. Write this down. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. WordPressDev.Solutions. His name is Wayne McWilliams. I featured him here before and he's made himself available to you. You can write to him, ask him any sort of question, and he will get an answer back to you. I hope you're having a great day. Look forward to meeting you in the next WordPress Wednesday. Bye-bye.